The experience of color is quite fascinating. Not only does color vision enable us to differentiate two otherwise equally shaped and therefore equally looking objects just by the difference in the color hue, but color itself also yields a natural beauty and anchors itself with its inimitability deeply into our very lives. My name is U Kwai and in the following we will explore what color fundamentally is and what makes color colorful in the first place. Because, as it is, color is a lot more plastic than you might initially think. Color is our brain's interpretation of a specific section of the electromagnetic spectrum. We call this the visible light and most of us are evolutionarily adapted to perceive color approximately in this range. Color is an important visual perceptual property. However, it is not a necessity for sight. This becomes evident while watching black and white movies or pictures. Both achromatopsia, the lack or dysfunction of the typical three types of color receptor cells, and monochromacy, the dysfunction of two out of three types of color receptor cells, lead to an achromatic color experience and thus to a mere vision in black and white. In the case of achromatopsia, but there's a dysfunction on the three types of light receptor cells for color, this does make sense. With no functioning color cones, we are only left with our rot cells, which typically do not contribute to normal color vision. However, with monochromacy, there still is one functioning type of color receptor cell. How is it that we don't see color in this case too? To answer that, we must look further into how color is created. Humans have three types of color receptor cells in both of our eyes. One type for the red, one for the green and one for the blue range in the visible light spectrum. This is called a trichromatic vision or trichromacy. Tri meaning three and chromacy meaning color. The initially singular color inputs of these three color receptor cells are combined in our brain to let us see a whole spectrum of color and not just three individual and strictly separated colors. The generation of a whole spectrum just out of three types of color receptor cells is possible because each type isn't just sensitive to one single wavelength, but rather to a range around this wavelength. This means that there are red and green color receptor cells which capture the same wavelength of light. Because in this case our brain can choose either red or green, it has to create a new color that simultaneously has the properties of red and green, but that is also sufficiently distinguishable from red and green. Thus, yellow is created. In the case of pure yellow, it sometimes is hard to see the influence of its primary colors. However, if we move a little bit left or right in the vicinity of yellow, we quickly see the influence of either red or green. This leads us to an intriguing assumption. Color is created in context. This means colors emerge from the comparison of light receptor cells. And more precisely, because every type of light receptor cell, if singled out, is monochromatic, colors then emerge from the comparison of two or more sufficiently different and that typically means sufficiently spaced apart types of light receptor cells, which each separately harbor a distinct light intensity, and thus a grayscale only. The combination of these grayscales with the post-processing power of our brain creates the color spectrum of visible light, as no two grayscales can be the same. And by implication, this means that adding or subtracting a sufficiently different type of light receptor cell will leave us seeing a lot fewer, or a lot more colors. Therefore, color vision deficiencies, where there is a dysfunction in one or more of our color receptor cells, and tetrachromacy, 
where there are four color zeptor cells present in the eye and there are at least 15 instead of seven distinct colors are real conditions. But not only that. If there was a way to influence the light intensities of our three types of color receptor cells in a way that creates more perceivable differences between these light intensities, resulting in more differences between colors, then color vision could somewhat be shaped to one's desire and even be greatly enhanced. How to enhance our color vision? and the corresponding technology that can enable us to see more color differences will be the topic of one of my next videos. So stay tuned and subscribe in order to fetch new ways to experience life. I am Ukwai and I will show you how to reshape and enhance your sensory experiences, because it is nothing but our senses that connect us to this world. Thanks for watching.